Guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, Tamane here, bringing you another video with the 5.0. Today, we're about to change out these 245 tires. I just recently bought some 285s, I bought two of them, because I found them for a good-ass deal. I'm over here at my tire shop in North Lake, Speedy Tire Shop, over in North Lake in the Chicago area. If you guys are near the North Lake area, I definitely recommend you guys check these guys out. They will definitely hook you up by just swapping some tires on there, even providing you with other used tires for a good ass price. So, if you guys are in that area, check them out. Picked up these 285, 35, 19. Oh gosh, I'm gonna try to get this out. Yeah, thanks. Get that out for me. I right, picked up two of them. They're Goodyear. They have some pretty good tread on them. I actually picked these up for 110 bucks for both of these 285s. Not bad. I had yeah, not bad at all. I had to hop on this because 110 bucks for two tires for 285s. That is a steal right there. The first mod that I have to do on the car because, as you guys know, if you've seen the last video, all three of my tires on here are 255s. The dealership screwed me over, and this tire right here is a 245. So I don't want my drivetrain to get messed up or anything within that sort so i had to get these tires asap and 110 bucks pretty good ass deal for that i wanted some 305s on here to be honest but with the 19 inch tires that are on here i don't think 305s will fit so until i possibly look for my next wheel set then i'll probably throw some 305s on here but for the meantime i had to get two matching tires for the rear and at least look a little bit beefy so i went with the 285s for 110 bucks previous owner has did some damage to these tires for sure man that freaking guy at the dealership tried to come confess me of doing a burnout in the dang on car when the previous owner obviously did all of this stuff i don't want to do any mods to the car until i get my clutch problem fixed i think it's honestly a throttle bearing or a pilot bearing i hope i hope it's just those problems so i don't have to buy a clutch but i do have an extended warranty on the car so my extended warranty will cover that i only have to pay 100 dollars deductible that's the whole really reason why i kept the car and why i didn't like be too like big and mad about it because i got an extended warranty on another through another company on this car and it only takes 100 bucks for an engine problem or a transmission problem for me to put down now obviously i'm gonna have to pay that over time but 100 dollars right now that's nothing right now you know i can pay the money over time that's what the warranty is for that's why they get it. All right, my camera's dying. Uh, it keeps getting too hot, but we're gonna transfer over to the boy Omar's camera right about now. Woo, how do y'all like this quality on Omar's camera? I think the lens look a little bit dirty, a little bit, but my GoPro was dying and we got Omar's camera. What kind of camera is this? Uh, Canon M50. A Canon M50? Yeah. Remember, sooner or later, I'm gonna get a new camera, but we got the boy Omar's 5.0 Beastly Whip chilling over here, getting piling all over it. But back on over here, in the front here we got, we are running some, where is it, where is it, where is it? It's all in the bottom, but we're running some 255, 40, 19s. On the rear, we got some 235, or 285, 35, 19s. It is a little bit smaller, but I can fit a whole fist in here, man. We're gonna need some lowering springs on this car, like ASAP, like ASAP, ASAP, man. It really doesn't look as wide, but maybe if I drop the car a little bit, it'll get that stance going. But other than that, this is the side look of the car. I'm about to go pick up an X-Pipe right now. I, I'm really getting tired of driving this car stock because I don't even want to drive the car. It's been sitting for some days. I still could drive it, you know, here and there, but I just can't drive it over 65 miles per hour or else I'll get that noise. I'm gonna get the, the noise fixed another day. All right, so we just made it to our friend Saul's house over here and he owns the beautiful GT350. Uh, he had a S197 just like Omar, but he's the one who sold, he sold us a dealership and Omar picked up his S197. And now he's gonna sell me this Bassani X-Pipe to throw on this car, because I like the S-Pipe sounds on this car. So we're gonna get the X-Pipe and we're gonna pick it up today. I'm not gonna install it today, I'm gonna install it in another video, so y'all stay tuned for that one. 
better because we're gonna take it to the shop and get it welded. You think get it welded? Did you do the did you get the um the other one welded? So. No, I left it I left it with clamps with me it didn't have a problem, but once he got it, it finally started uh on the well, stack. I think because maybe because you keep going over that bump of your house. Yeah, right. Cracking on the leaf, maybe. I don't know. And then when I went to Angel's house, too, you know how he has that bump? That's what yeah, I Yeah, yeah, true, true. The tracks you control off when I launched it. Uh huh. <laughs> you spin nasty. I saw oh, the video. Yeah. I saw it. Not Jeez. even that, bro, but the, my car, uh -huh. when I launched it, it started going like this. And I let off right away and caught it, but if that shit, I had to like counter steer it. That was scary. Scary. <laughs> It was a first time experience. I never launched it without uh, traction. Action. Uh, yeah. Every launch I've ever done has been with uh, traction. So it won't fish tail right anymore. Boom. So we got it right here. It was a Bassani X pipe, right? No, stainless works. Oh, stainless works. Yeah, yeah, you did say it. Stainless works. Stainless works. For sure, for sure. Guys, we're about to put an X pipe on the car. Finally get some sound. I cannot stand driving around with a stock exhaust, man. So maybe tomorrow or Friday. Stay tuned for that video. He still, has his, he, he still has his cats on there, I'm pretty sure. And he just took the resonators off and it's very low. So maybe all, and I heard from another, some other people, if you just delete the resonators off, the thing will sound amazing. So I think I'll go with the resonators first. Yeah, try to And then do the cats. 